Hello everybody, hope everybody is well. My name is Sam Sloan. I thought I would share uh, another top tip with you around interaction activities that you can do. Well, you can do them on any platform, but I've been using Zoom, uh, as you well know, recently. But you can use this on any of, any of them, WebEx, Adobe, um, Teams, Skype, all of those, because you're simply sharing your screen. However, what I'd like to share with you today is something called Polls Everywhere. And it's a fantastic little interactive system that really provides some fantastic stuff for your learners to do live in the session and also stuff that they can do afterwards as well. So let me just show you uh, what it is. So I'm just going to log into PollsEverywhere.com. Now I've already signed up. So once you've already signed up, and you've popped in your name etc then you click on to activities once you go into activities you're going to see lots of activities here that obviously I've already created uh, beforehand let me just put my little camera there that I've already created uh, beforehand so what I'm going to do for you is just show you a couple of the different ones that I've been using but play with it this is a free account I don't pay for this uh, and it gives me pretty much everything that I need it to do you can have up to 25 users in at any one time as well and you can set unlimited questions but I'll show you that in just a second so what is it that I've been playing around with then so you might see here at the bottom let's just take sort of these three how are you feeling today what interactive tools are available in zoom and presentation feedback as well so let's just go into what interactive tools are there available in zoom and I'll come to that in just a second but how have I created that so when I go back up to the top here, I click on create and then it gives me an option and choices of the different types of things that I can set and create. Uh, there's even more choices there as you kind of uh, split those down. So things like, uh, I don't know, two by two matrixes, for instance, we like a good matrix, don't we, uh, in, in training, can't be a good uh, <laughs> four box <laughs> some kind of some kind of matrix uh, word clouds this is something that i've been using a lot of and i'll show you that in just a second as well which is how i've just set up uh what tools are there available in zoom for instance uh you've got a clickable clickable image that type of thing so when you set up those and i'll show you those in just a second as well uh but things like uh i don't know emotion scales you know how you're feeling today this sort of thing so i'll show you those um as well literally i haven't even clicked into every single one of these i've not used all of them i tend to use the sort of word clouds the q a the how you feeling today uh, and also the presentation feedback which again i'll show you in just a second which can be really helpful uh, after maybe one of your i don't know online presentations for instance that you're doing so let's just click back then to polls everywhere and go back into the ones that i'd already created because once you click create then it just turns them and pops them into this list here so what interactive tools are there in Zoom? So when we click on there, as the host, I've got options now that I can do. So at the top here, what you'll probably notice is how do the people respond? How do they actually get in to this particular activity? So there's a couple of ways. You can just leave that simply on the screen there for them to go on to pollev.com, which is where they simply log into on their phones and they will be able to do that. Um, quite simply or if you want to be super helpful you can actually copy the link out of there and then go back to your zoom meeting and pop that link into chat for instance for everybody to copy out if they want to do it on their computers or of course if they want to do it on their phones for instance like I've just done here um, then they can do it that way as well so let's just say then they've gone onto that website. What it will ask you for is then the username. So let's just go back to here. The username is one, two, three uh, people dev zero, 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 which is my username that I've set. And I'll show you how even on the free account, you can actually generate a slightly different username as well. If you're just a little bit clever with it. So once the learners have actually logged in, they'll come to this screen here. And then once they've got everything uh, ready, what they can then do or what you can do as the host is activate the particular session itself. So let me just show you here what it now looks like. So now that has actually come live 
onto my phone. So if I start to then click into and respond, so let's just put chat in there and I just simply press submit. Oh, spell that wrong. Um, or I don't know, uh, annotation. And all I'm simply doing is just typing it in to the response section. Uh, we could put poll. So whatever answers your learners are popping in, it will populate. So let's just say I put poll again. Then obviously that makes it slightly bigger. And you can do this live. You can have up to 25 people uh, in this particular um system which is fantastic and it's not a bad number at all uh, to get people kind of using it so and that will continue all the way even if you want to make it even better if you're sharing your screen for instance live with the learners then you can do that and it kind of gets rid of all of the other stuff that's kind of going on um around the outside so let's put chat in and you can kind of see how it how it kind of works and like i've said it does it live so if i just escape out of there if I then want to deactivate that, then I can do, and that kind of locks it and stops it. So I don't think you're going to lose anything uh, either, because what happens is it actually saves them until you actually clear the responses down, which is fantastic. But what if I want to go into another activity? Because now what it's done, you may not be able to see because it's a tiny thing. It's, it's actually stopped doing that on my screen, on my phone where I've logged into the system. So what if I want to go into the next activity? which might be that presentation feedback, for instance. Or let me just go back one and I'll go into the activity where, let's go to the previous one, where it was, how are you feeling today? So again, I haven't got anything on my screen at the moment until I press activate. When I press activate, what actually happens, and I can show you again, is it comes up on my screen. And I can select one of the options and you can see a little pin has just gone in to the smiley face there, for instance. It's just really easy to use. And all I've done is I've clicked activate and go back on full screen if I wanted to. And you can see the little pins here. You've still got all of the tools available to you here that you can still see. And of course, your learners there have got a really immersive um experience if you like from if you're sharing your screen let's just say on zoom if you're doing it live for instance or like i've said any other platform that you can share so let's just go back to next oh sorry let me just go sorry previous i just need to deactivate that because it's still live so that will then turn it off on the learner's screens so if i go to the next one which is that one we've just done a second ago and then presentation feedback for instance again I've got the copy, the response link here if I wish to do it from there and I can paste that straight into chat. But in fairness, the learners are already here. So if I activate that now, that comes down to start the survey on my phone. So let me just go back into the full screen. So you can see there how it says start survey. And there's four questions which I have set separately. And these are the four questions. Your learners can't see you flicking through these unless you're sharing your screen. And this could be something if you wanted to do it anonymously, for instance, you can do. But then it just gives you free hand as well for your learners to actually type into each of these responses as well. So it's whether you wanted to do that separately or, of course, not share that with your learners. Completely up to you. I just think it's a really nice way of bringing people in. Like I've said, anonymously, you can do it here. Show the questions per page, anonymous participation. It depends how it is that you want it set. And this is a free account. So how did I get this word here? One, two, three, people, development, zero, zero, zero. Well, when you click in to my settings, it allows you to generate a particular... It can't be bespoke until you upgrade. But what I did is I put in my first name and my last name as my business, and then it generated one, two, three people development, but it just had different numbers. So I just waited till it came around. I kept clicking generate until it came to the zero, 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 because I just thought that was super easy. But this is the free plan. This is the one that I'm on. So you've got an max size of audience uh, 25 at any one time, but you can generate unlimited questions. So you can just generate 
different questions for each session if that's what you wanted to do. I love it. I use it all the time. Uh, I just think it's a great um, system for free. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Let me know um, what it is that you're using it for because there's lots of different uh, activities that you can use. I've not used all of them by any means. So please share with me what it is that you have found and what it is that you've used and how it went for you as well. And, and put that in the comments at the bottom uh, once you have had a go. Thanks for listening. See you later. Thank you.